For me, the most boring part of making YouTube videos is creating those YouTube chapter titles. But having them in my videos is actually amazing. They're super useful. And what do I do with boring yet important tasks? I automate them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create YouTube chapter titles automatically with artificial intelligence, just with one click. And I mean it, just one. One click, that's all it takes. Let me show you the basics first. Here we have one of my videos, and then this bar shows the video chapter titles over there. You can hover over them to see the name of the title, or you can go down to the description and click on show more and see the chapter titles over here and browse through them. You can also click on view to have the side panel over there where you will see all of the chapters. Having those YouTube video titles increases the watch time, which is by far the most important metric for you as a YouTuber to get your videos ranked organically. And this is because viewers can easily navigate around your content and find the stuff that they were actually looking for instead of bouncing around and going to other videos or Google where the information is readily available. Think about how you consume content on YouTube. I personally use video chapters all the time and here's a little hack that almost nobody knows about. If you click on option and the arrow keys, you can go to the next chapter or to the previous chapter. Now let's go ahead and create our chapter titles. In this video that we looked at, there are a few things that you want to observe. First, all of the chapter titles, they need to start with 00, zero semicolon 00. This is the timestamp for the beginning of the video. The rest of the timestamps, they have to be in the chronological order. And finally, they cannot be less than 10 seconds apart, which kind of makes sense. Here I have a video without chapter titles over here. So let's go ahead and create those chapter titles manually. So here I can see a transition introducing the first out of 12 extensions over there. So I'm going to click on edit video over here. Here we have YouTube Studio that opened up. And then in the video description, we want to add video chapters. Let's do our very first one. I love calling it intro. It's always the intro. Then we have 029, which is tool one, tool two, tool three. And let's open up this video in a separate tab. And there we have our chapter titles, automatically edit, intro, tool one, tool two, tool three. You remember I told you you can use artificial intelligence to create those chapter titles with just one click? Check this out. Let's go back to our YouTube studio, delete these chapter titles over here, scroll down, click on more options, and then here we have automatic chapters, save, go back to our window, refresh. That's it. Okay, okay, just kidding. This actually doesn't work all that well. If you click on the description to open up the titles, you'll see that the chapter titles generated, they have pretty poor titles and they're not always accurate in terms of the timestamps. Instead, here's what I actually do. I use this Chrome extension called Bardeen. I click on the extension and here I have the automation that will generate the YouTube timestamps using GPT-4. And here we have the results. I can copy it directly from here and paste it in the description. And there was also a Google document with those chapter titles generated as a separate doc. There they are. Let me go to video details, disable automatic chapter titles and paste them here instead, video chapter titles. Let's refresh this page. And there they are, much improved chapter titles. Bardeen uses OpenAI's GPT-4 to generate titles that are specifically created with engagement and keywords in mind so that you're more likely to rank. And that native YouTube feature definitely cannot do that. You can grab the link to this automation in the description of this video. It's right there. Let me find some poor YouTubers video without chapters. I'm going to open up Bardeen, one click, <sighs> much better. I guess this video is from six years ago and Thomas Frank probably doesn't have enough time in his day to go through 275 videos. 
Let me actually show you really quick how I build this automation so that you can customize it to your needs. First, let's open up Bardeen Chrome extension and I'm going to hover over this card and open it in the builder so you can see this automation step by step. The first action over here clicks on these three dots and clicks on show transcript. This is how we get the transcript load up on the page. Let's open up Bardeen back up. The second action scrapes the transcript from over here. Then we convert the table data into one long piece of text. And here under Merge Text, we create our OpenAI prompt. I ask OpenAI to create a YouTube video chapter titles that are optimized for engagement and keywords based on a video transcript. And here we have the dynamic variable, and then we we'll link to transcript text from the previous action. Finally, we have this OpenAI action over here that uses this prompt that we've created. You can change it. We're using GPT-4. You can use other OpenAI models if you want to. And finally, I want to create a new Google document with the title of the video. And then I'm going to add the OpenAI generated text to this Google document. If you want to add additional actions, you can click on this plus icon and save the transcript, for example, to a Google Sheet, to Notion, to Airtable, to your favorite apps. The possibilities are pretty much endless. Thanks for watching. If you like the idea of automating your boring manual work with artificial intelligence, make sure to watch this video next, where I'm going to show you how to use OpenAI in your automations. Click here, right there.